Hello, everybody. So we are live now. Do you have any invitations for any beings? Uh, yeah. What about? Um, actually, no. I can't think of anything. Something new. Try something new. I like technology. And I actually, yeah, I really like that reptilian guy that you just brought in yesterday. The, remember yes. him? That guy was cool. Reptilian's cool. No, but this this guy he was like comical. Yeah, uh, yeah Shim. Like, yeah. Yeah, Shim or oh. whatever. Yeah, I'm still confused. I see Carol and I don't realize it's uh, Hasim. Oh, yeah, it's me. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay, got it. I'll go like this. All right. Um, Andromedan. Andromedan. Okay, yeah. Yeah, keep in mind Andromeda is a galaxy with um, millions of stars or more than millions. So they have to somehow to give their names or nicknames. I know there are humans. Didn't and we yeah. meet the Fandorians in one of the hangouts? Yeah, I, I think a couple times, I think. All right. Um, Max. Yes. How about Alpha Centurions? It's up to them. I mean, whoever comes. Lately, yeah. um, Grindel or Grindel friends are coming. First time I was surprised, but now I'm kind of accepted. So I have to, um, how do you say, um, explain it. Uh, my channel is very um, thin so far. I want it to be like James, like very informative, but right now it's more interpretations and advice. I um, it, it really, you know, the the uh, information really comes through. It's more personality, emotion, advice, interpretation. So they they can play with my with what I know, but they really can add more of uh, facts. Facts don't come as easy as they come through Jim. But otherwise, um, I feel their presence, that's for sure.
Possibly, let's speak a little and then it will be defined. Sorry, okay. it's, it's mixed energies at the moment. All right, so how's, how's your day going? Uh, great. How is uh, everything, everybody over there? Pretty good. Do you have a name? Uh, give me a minute. I will be. I will make, populate Max's body in more fullness. Uh, hey Zina, what's up there? Hello, handsome man. How are you? What did you say? Handsome man? Handsome. Ah. <laughs> ah. Am I a man? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Shame. You're yeah. male. That's a shame. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're male. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Handsome man. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um. What race are you? I'm a. The body of Grindel. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Oh, say hi to him. All right. All right. So tell us, how was your day today? I. No information comes through. Only opinions and advice. Sorry, it's uh, the channel is. Um, yeah, maybe a channel, I would say. It has to growl. <laughs> yeah, maybe channel. But uh, I, I feel fine here. My moment starts here. You just uh, tell us about yourself. No, no information comes through. Only advice and opinions. Talk about your stuff or whatever. Anything, love, uh, non-love. More love, more non love, that sort of thing. Yeah. Politics could be, uh, you know, Max knows nothing about news, but uh, I can you pick his uh, his uh, mess in the brain and just pick whatever I like there and bring it up. So, what are your challenges today? You guys, uh, Matt, how are you? Tyler, how are you? Oh, I'm fabulous. What I'm, challenges you got? I, I'm learning. I'm working on. I'm sorry. All right. In, yes. In, integrating reptilian energy. This ah, that's great. Thank you. Heavy. That's helpful. Yeah, integrating reptilian. Uh, so you are in uh, that. Western culture predicament. There is so much reptilian energy. So. You know, you don't want much more. You just want to integrate it with your light worker nonsense. Yeah, how do you integrate light work and reptilian? Impossible. <laughs> yeah, that's impossible. Yeah, and light reptilian is still a reptilian. Yeah, yeah, we are light workers, but we're like what? All right. So here is integration. Integrate a light worker with a light warrior. How about that? How can you integrate a worker with a warrior? Just take out the light. Give me some see, ideas. I, I see that I see uh, reptilians are all comma cool, but they're misunderstood. I feel that they uh, look at us as comedy. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, some of our things are understood just fine. Yeah, misunderstood. No, no, we are not. Yeah. Uh, now let's just talk about you. I don't want to, you know, again, it's Max's opinion. I don't want to pollute my opinion with Max's opinion. But let's uh, bring me some problems, specifics. What's wrong? What's um, Where do you have problems with integrating? How about that? How do you determine the agenda of an energy inside you? Ah. All right. Because Here's every... All... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Continue. Because all energies seem illusionary. No, no, you are illusionary. Energies are primal, primary. Yeah, but yeah, they they seem illusionary to your physical mind, but but they are primal, primary. They are vibrations. They are before the physicality. In any case, so here is the symbolic thing of that is uh, there is that reptilian genome DNA, reptilian culture in the universe. In uh, we are more ancient. We are dinosaurs coming before mammals, not only on Earth, but also in the galaxy. You know, before Liron came, we were dominant here, fighting insects and some other, other, you know, the, everything you have on Earth, you, we, have, we had all over the galaxy in different shapes, but the ideas were all there, just different. The ideas were all there. They just have been adapted for your. That's Max. Max's biology coming. I'm. I wanted to talk about more symbols, but Max's biology is coming. Just no, doesn't matter. So we were dominant, and then Liron came. Lirons came, and mammals and humans, and that all of that came and developed, and that's the main. How do you call it? Main battle, battle, battle in the universe. A human idea versus reptilian idea. And we are also in sort of humans, but we are not mammals. We are humanoids. And our idea is more like fighting, expansion, and hierarchy. And humans bring something, uh, how Grindel calls it, I forgot. How they that? Mimsy, shmimsy, something of that sort. That gym storm, yeah? Something soft and um, enlightened and sort of more loving, right? So we also love, but our love is tough. And human love is like, yeah, more like soft. Yeah, Lo tough versus soft. And that's the main dilemma, main how do they call it? Things paradox. It's a paradox which needs to be solved, right? Um, Major Lee Blunt is wondering if uh, you could give Max a download to help him understand DNA for his research, or if you could explain how they manipulate DNA, or how you guys manipulate DNA. To my understanding, it's you zap a certain part of the brain with a frequency and then that's how you infuse them. You give them the frequency of the reptilian's DNA to a certain part of the brain which causes reptilian thought patterns. All right, hold this thought, thought, hold this question. I remember it, but you know, I didn't finish the, the idea of uh, answering the previous. So, uh, much love and appreciation. Great question, great question, DNA. We will bring it just in a minute. Now, coming back to the idea of uh, integrating the tough love and soft love. That's that's the key, and it's it's unsolvable. But you just you know play with that and play creatively. That's that's about it. And you know there is so much tough love in your Western culture, and there is so, so tons of soft love in your Western culture, and. Uh, even, you know, the, your movies, you know, you have tough love, soft love, tough love, soft love. So, 
So uh, integrating. Uh, it's it's it, uh, give me examples. How can you integrate that and that? I I, f I feel that uh, uh, energy is in right now and is observing and is not speaking, but is uh, connecting, connected. You mean in the max or in you or where? In me, but I feel it's uh, you. I feel your energy. I feel reptilian, if you want to call it reptilian. Ah. All right. Do you get some, like, feeling or hint that is connecting to a certain type of word or a certain type of item? Two questions. All right. First question uh, uh, is uh, how do you bring the energy? And second question I didn't understand. Uh, can you, the female, can you please uh, say your name? And Is it Audrey? Yes, I was speaking to Tyler. Sorry about that. Oh, go ahead. Please go ahead. I didn't understand what you said. Oh, Tyler, that energy that's coming through, does it give you a hint that it's connecting to an item or a word? No. Purely observational. All right, there is tons of ways to mm, play with it. And most of them are creative playing. One way is go full way with it and then sort of, but you know, your main ball of energy. Just create a little guard for, for yourself. Create a guard, a, a sub-process, a sub-function, the sub-program, which would control how things are going and if they're going wrong, you know, program it to stop. Kind of bring you back. And go full way, but have that guard guarding you. And if you, know, if you go too far, Especially if you get get go nuts and get explosive and get angry or hurt yourself or somebody else or do mistakes, then the God has to say, "Oh, oh that's too much, and let's let's wrap it up for now." But explore it, uh, whatever it brings to, like you know, not drugs, not too much drugs, not strong drugs, but. No, I didn't mean to focus on drugs. I meant something else like love and uh, laughter and sports and nature and whatever. The safe things. Yeah. yeah. Focus on safe, creative things. Even art can be reptilian and, uh, and vibration, which can be quite, how do you say, uh, destructive in ideas, but still uh, it's art. And then it can be good art, right? Or music, uh, Rammstein, yeah, is it called Rammstein? Max, Max called it Rammstein. Max hates that vibe. Yeah. So, and then you kind of switch back, like wave to reptilian, and then wave to soft love, human, humane love. I guess humane would be just a po opposite of reptilian idea. And then switch back and forth and kind of play with it until they uh, intertwine like two strands in a double healing, that sort of thing. So then you bring peace to the universe. All right. Uh, then we have a question with DNA. Um, can you just speak? You, you spoke well. Who was speaking about DNA? Hello. He left already. Ah, he was talking about um, uh, using lasers and energy to hit a part of the brain with a certain frequency. Yeah, yeah. Max here is worrying that he is not popular, but I am not worrying. It's Max is worrying. Ah, people are leaving, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. <coughs> ah. Um, I'm sorry, but you well, tell can Tell Nelson don't feel board, bad. He's probably right? just lost connection. Say again, Ed. Oh, tell Max that it's probably nothing to worry about. He's probably just lost connection. Or the vibe is not good, or whatever. 
Uh, even he, if uh, Max messed up, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, what? All right, DNA is why. Wow. Yeah, Max is so excited. Wanted to talk more, like all about DNA. But yes, so infusion. Um, I cannot give you specifics, of course. Uh, it's not in the, the channel. Doesn't permit going specifics. But Max already knows that. We create the technology we have, and everybody, all all of us have, just to create a new cells in your body. Just kind of how oh, what's the analogy? Uh, holographic. You can just create them, like we say, you want a cell here, and it psh, create it like that. Uh, you know, you're uh, the best, uh, best. No, like in your movies, like well created, but in reality, in your physical reality, it would be when you uh, shine these projectors in the sky and you see these things created in the sky by light. That's kind of, if projectors intersect, you see that bright ball there, which wasn't there before. So we kind of uh, transdimensionally, from our dimension, we just shine this. Uh, lasers or whatever uh, create this kind of vortices of um, electromagnetic etheric vibration, electromagnetic vibration, and we create the, the cells, sort of, and we create the, or we take your cells and kind of create the new DNA in those cells, and it kind of materializes gradually and before that, we have to, of course, we have to program all of that, but it's kind of, it's easy. And um, and they just get some of your DNA and some of us, our DNA all together. And, and they just live happily uh, side by side with your cells. And sort of integrate and develop and... Um, and you get new uh, infusion of so it's not all the body; it's mostly the brain and some other parts, which Max doesn't know which parts, but it doesn't matter. Maybe blood, maybe immune, maybe you, maybe like whatever doesn't matter. Some cells, and so you have that sort of new new sequence and the vibration is changing so you can radiate little different vibration you can get in little different vibration not only through DNA but also through new vibrations like your electric vibrations in your uh, brain and also chemical vibrations your chemistry changes just a little bit like your smell might change your oh, smell what would be interesting yeah that's sort of thing. So your vibration changes a little, but uh, it's up to you what you do with it, right? Actually, it's uh, it's more like uh, what your soul and astral and etheric bodies, how do they integrate it and what do they do with it? It's up to you. And you can be afraid, you can be happy with it. It's your choice. You play with those energies. It's not... It could be strong, but it could be weak. It's again up to you. And if you feel like Jim, like feel bad, you just say, please stop. And unfortunately, we are obligated to stop at any moment as soon as you request. We respect. We are mm, uh, officially, what's that word? Required to, yeah. We are required to stop, yes. Hello there. Zina, yes. No, this is Sarah. How are oh, you? Oh, sorry. Oh, Sarah. Yes, yeah, Sarah. Yes, I recognize. Max is, yeah, through, yes. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sarah. Yeah. How are you? Um, <coughs> great, thank you. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. Uh, how may I call you? Yeah, I go under uh, the nickname of Shim. Shim. Yeah, I'm a, a body of Grindel. If, if it's not full, fully, uh, fully defined, doesn't fully define, but it's uh, good for now. We'll develop it later. Very well, Shim. Thank you. 
Um, I see you are discussing DNA and the effects of reptilian DNA. Um, my question really is, uh, I've asked two mediums into uh, beings, and one says I was given reptilian DNA, the other one says not very much, and uh, that I integrated well. Um, <laughs> if I was given any. Uh, what no, you your question is, uh, you want me to say, right? Like, was I given any? Yeah, uh, that information is completely blocked here. I'm sorry. No, oh, really? whatsoever. Oh. But I can speculate anyway, but yeah, it's most, mostly Max's. I can play with Max's concepts. Ah, okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's up to you, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, whatever you like, uh, you make your reality. You are given two options, and it's up to you to choose which timeline you prefer. I see. Thank you. And it's so frequent. It's just the way the uh, reality matrix is designed that at this day and age, you, you, you're entitled to choose. I see. Wonderful. But if you choose uh, that you like it, uh, just tell us. We would be really happy to <laughs> bring you more. Yeah. And if you choose to not like it, whatever, but we would be happy to do it anyway. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> but we are required to admit. Nah. Oh, here's a good question. Someone just posted. Uh, do you have role models? Role models? Role models. Like someone to look up to. Um leaders maybe or someone you aspire to be or someone who inspires you maybe. absolutely yes yes absolutely we are very hierarchical we are all role models yeah oh in your culture all this idea of role models yeah all your hierarchy all your saints and stuff and kings and pre Presidents, yeah, all of that is very much ours, yeah. And Orion's, too. We are sort of uh, share some of the culture with Orion's and Draconians. It's all royal and stuff, and aristocracy and stuff. But it's nice you taking it less seriously these days. It's it's healthy for you guys. <laughs> so play with your role models in a friendly but condescending way. You can take it seriously, but then you have to uh, you know integrate it um, using common sense. How about that? I will give you uh, give me some examples, and I will. Speculate on them. Well, who is your role model? Take me as a role model. <laughs> Would you like me to choose you? Ah, of course. Uh, so, who is your role model now? Oh, models. Well, there are people, maybe Nelson Mandela or uh, different ideas of gods and goddesses that I aspire to be or. We're learning that we are. Um, let's see. Uh, Mother Teresa is a good one. Uh, Gandhi is another one. Uh, Kuan Yin is another one. Hey, Sarah, I got, I got a question. Yes. Um, um, what was it? Um, do you ever... Do you ever um, listen to or look at some of our celebrities? Do you like any of our celebrities here on Earth? All right. Again, um, that sort of information doesn't go through uh, yet. But uh, <laughs> just picking, picking Max's uh, concepts, I can kind of excite something there. Let me see what he knows. Um, yeah, I guess 
Nazi what would be would be Nazi and uh, uh, yeah, your that sort of thing. Uh, among modern celebrities, yeah, Max is he stays away from all of that. I don't <laughs> think he knows any of those. <laughs> yeah. No, it's empty here. Blank, blank, blank. Yes, an no, another year. Maybe in the past. Let me see in the past. Blank. Yeah. Yeah. Stalin. He is. He is not <laughs> about Stalin. But I wouldn't say Stalin was uh, fully reptilian. Nah. No, that doesn't come through. But I mean. The ideas were there, but there was something else in Stalin which is not ours, that I would say. Same with Hitler, he wasn't fully reptilian. No, it was the ideas there, why in a, uh, Nazi Germany was pretty much reptilian, but, but it wasn't pure reptilian, it was something else. And it doesn't come through what was that. Max knows about negative Syrians, so I can pick it out, take it out, um, publish that, I guess, obviously. Bring it to the surface, but but he doesn't know other stuff which he doesn't know, and I cannot bring it through. Yeah, so I wanted to, what I wanted to say, uh, it's, a, it's a powerful, uh, the role model is a very power, powerful thingy, powerful thing, and uh, that's how on earth you guys learn, especially from your movies and television. So role models are absolutely, absolutely um, essential for your learning. Yes. Mm. And some people are forget about what they are in in reality. All they do in their life is just uh, playing with a few role models here and there, and some of these role models are not as good. They actually suck, and they just people walk through their lives trying to accomplish something, but they pick wrong low vibe role models, poorly concocted, and and that's all the disaster. So pick good role models and pick best out of them. Take the highest vibe. And that is very powerful because you connect to the energy. And uh, another interesting thing, if you dig into each role model, they are not what they are. Ah, that's funny. But if you, you study their, their life and then realize this wonderful person just plays a wonderful person, but in, in, in reality uh, they are normal humans with all sort of negative things, but, but what, what, what comes in, in, in the culture is their ideal, how they pretend to be, like Hugh Grant, for example. Yeah, Max knows Hugh Grant. He's Absolute perfection, right? Right? Am I talking yeah, to yes. anyone? Yeah, at least person. at least what they show he was yeah, perfection. And then, <laughs> and then it doesn't really matter what uh he is in his other life, in his uh daily life because because he created an, an ideal and that ideal is more important than his I'm not saying he's any bad, I'm just just saying that it's different. It doesn't have to be the same thing, right? So that's uh, so you, whatever you like, you play with the idea that you know this role model. It doesn't have to be the same person as they play the role. You you can copy the role model, or you can copy copy the whole system of the real person and the role the real person plays. I well, hope it helps. Yes. Well, here's the thing. A lot of the people we looked up to in our younger years, we've understood that they were just humans, which is so we wish to be more of ourselves. Um, we, we understood that was a show. <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm not oh, sure that they would be any of our personal role models, these uh, so-called uh, celebrities and things of that nature. 
don't get too disillusioned because this role they played, it's real, it's the real vibration, it's a real ideal which like John Lennon or whatever, uh, it's, it's an ideal which is a creation of art by itself, it's artistic ideal and um, we have that too and uh, you can still pick on uh, the ideal and relate and use it as a vortex, as a stepping stone for your building your uh, whatever, your life and personality and finding your path and your excitement, that sort of thing. Bashar, yeah. Mm. yeah. It's, it's all, all the same. It's everywhere. It just, just uh, different angles. You look at this angle, you look at this angle, you look at the, you change and you just see the different facets of the same person. Role model, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. That was very good. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Take me as a role model and green though. Well, I need to know more about you. I'd like to know about you. Um, yeah, all right. That is not available, but you take me anyway. <laughs> um, you don't have to know everything. I just met you. <laughs> is that a frequency thing? Because I understand how you come in and you use what information you have available, but if it's if the channel can raise its frequency, does that make quote-unquote out downloads more accessible? Um, yes and no. The frequency is just a number. It's more like a big, sophisticated machinery, and uh, some of that no one understood. Some of that some understand. So it's more sophisticated. It's like like um, playing your whatever basketball. It comes lately. Uh, some children can just you know kick the ball and that's all they can do but you, you know some can dribble and some can even throw that sort of thing so it's uh, Max is just kind of just you know rolling the ball that's that's you know the status of his uh, um, of aligning the energy correctly <clears throat> yeah and purity purity yeah and then purity uh, came to my attention when this was speaking about uh, integration of reptilian energies. That's what I'm saying. Uh, to, to explore it in full you have to be pure. So if you try to mix too much of soft love and hard love you get nothing. So explore pure hard love and then go to pure soft love and then kind of merge them together when you know what they are. So purity is important. But synthesis of pure things is also important. Any more topics? Yeah, who is there? Well, tell me more. I don't want to open my eyes. How many people you got? One, here? two, three. Am I alone six, speaking to nobody? Five people. Five people. Yeah, please read me names if you can. Let's see here. We've got, um, we've got Audrey, Sarah, Rowey, and Zenaida. Zenaida, you got any comments that are non specific? How about how, how um, our posture, let's say like a, a, a mudra, how that yes. changes frequency in three dimensions and higher? I, you know everything. How can I add more? Let me see. Um, it does change a lot, um, especially in you humans. Yes, especially in us. It is by design. And what is interesting, you don't have to do it physically. If you Cannot do it physically at the moment, you can do it mentally, that's good enough. But yes, it does work. <coughs> the posture. I yeah, that posture I have now is not intentional. It's more like Max is a little 
uh, how do you say, after recovering after the call, that's it. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. And microphone is low. Yeah. Max likes to speak close to microphone. <laughs> All right. So, posture. Uh, it's also a grid, crystalline grid, you understand. The bones are crystals. And they are very special shape crystals. They're not only for practical reasons, they're also for vibrational reasons. The bones are forming a structure which resonates. So when you change your posture, your chakras ch chakras, and your bones, your uh, all of that kind of resonates in a little different way. So that's why dances and yoga and tai chi and soldiers marching and martial arts people they do amazing job doing beautiful perfect uh, I don't know the word where stances is it the word stances yes perfect stances uh, often you look at them when they don't do the stuff and they all mass, they all uh, low energy, very impure energy, very sort of downplay. But when they do the right thing, they are absolutely perfect or close to perfect. And it can be related to all those I mentioned because it's the new energy comes into them and it aligns their you know, the bones in a way that the energy flows perfectly yes very very good point and especially in healing arts your healing arts of Reiki and Qigong especially in Reiki it's not as pronounced but in Qigong when you move the hand in a special way in a special way, you operate energy in a special way. And Indian dance, yeah, Indian dance is also very uh, mudras, yeah, very um, specific in how they do that. And also many other dances as well. <laughs> is your species I'm required? Sorry, just a second. Permission slips? Uh, you can speak. Uh, say again, this. Is your species, are you required to do that in order to have this type of communication? On your end? I got the cough drop. Yeah. Uh, I don't get it. My species requires to do what? Permission slips in order to communicate in this way. Such as mudras or hand gestures. I understand. I, I'm trying to. Yeah, the answer is yes. Very good. Yeah, I don't. I want to hear uh, Audrey. All right. Anyone else is there? Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you. Whose voice is that? Steven. Is it the Steven Max channeled recently? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, what do you mean, talk the to? The one with the baby yesterday? Yes, yes, yes. Hi, Stephen, yes. How are you? That's Max loved this baby. Yeah, the baby is special. Yeah. Yes, thank you. So how are you today? Pretty good. And I, I was wondering, what positive influences, practices done by humans are similar to your race? That information is not available. It doesn't go through. Let me pick Max's brain. I might find something. So what, what was the question? What 
practices? Oh, yeah. What positive influences slash practices done by humans are similar to your race? And are you zest pods? I think so. Are Lashunda or Fenton? No, no, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Zest pods would be... Zest pods. Yeah. All right. Um, I cannot comment on that much, but um, I will give you some he uh, some sort of kind of yeah. Yes. It's it's um, it doesn't the information that kind of information is not well going through. I'm sorry. So uh, positive um, positive what positive practices? That's what you want, right? So yes. what humans do good that we do good? Yes, similar. Yeah. Um, nothing interesting comes to my mind, but what do you think? What is your opinion? Well, I heard one uh, positive thing that reptilians do is that they, they have a number, or they have an identification of everything. Like, everything has a numerical value, like, to, so you can look it up fast. Like, a remote control is, say, 125689, and, and say, a, a bottle of water is another identification number. And they have, every, uh, and, and that's what I heard is that y'all have, like, most uh, everything numbered and, uh, and labeled so you can easily access it and you have that information where it's more, it's more easier to, uh, to access it. Yeah, sounds about right, except... Um, again, information doesn't, you know, information about us doesn't come through easily, but uh, let me say that we also respect these numbers, like uh, Kabbalah, uh, yeah, Kabbalah would be very much like what we have, it's, it's, um, analog, yeah, uh, how do you say, uh, sanctify, is it the word where you make it saint, like, um, sa I sanctify, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We we sort of respect very much. We uh, treat them as um, spiritually very important matters. The numbers, yes. Do y'all do formal education in Kabbalistic ideas? Do we have formal education in that? Yes. Yeah, the questions about our cultures don't go through easily. I don't think it's useful to question about our culture, but I would say yes. Let's speak about your stuff more. I think your it's challenges, your problems, that sort of thing. I think it's then interesting. It's authorized and flows easier. How Stephen said, you all identify numbers because that allows you all to identify that on a vibratory level. So yeah, that means how that... We can, no sound comes through, hello, yeah, yeah, you said we can and then it was, stuck. oh yeah, we can uh, use that information in order to manipulate or access physical reality, all right. All right, that's a big topic of Max. Max hates the numbers. Max has this love for non-discrete, undiscrete, indiscrete thinking, which is amorphous, like vibrational, no numbers, just the feeling, the intuition with no specifics. And yeah, there is another way of thinking, very digital, like computers think. Not vibrational, computers digital kind of thinking. We also have this, not paradox, duality. We have this duality too. We also can vibrate and we also can do digits. We have more digital thinking than you humans do, but we also have emotions, but it's digital is stronger and it's quicker and when you fight and the time is a, of essence then digital works 
fast, but with emotional and fuzzy intuitive, sometimes you get the right answer even when the information is not on hand. So, in very situations where you really don't know situations, on intuition is of more importance. Your martial arts in the East and in, I would say, traditional Indian martial arts, they respect very much the spiritual breakthrough where no logic can be used, just intuition and that sort of vibrational breakthrough. So both are important. We do the same thing. Yeah, we we, we teach both. Sweet. Does this help? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. I was also do you have any information on uh, NASARA, National Economic Security and Reformation Act deals with the Jubilee, with the new financial systems, uh, prosperity funds, humanitarian projects, uh, Cash Foundation releasing free energy devices, anti-gravity devices, zero-point energy devices to help humanity on their growth of expansion and utilizing these types of energies that will greatly increase our way of living. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, the, this kind of information doesn't go through easily, but I can pick Max's, Max's opinions, which I, th I feel pretty much good about what he thinks. It's a, it's a, how do you call it, a mixed bag? That's how you say it, mixed bag? Yes. Yeah, so this sort of disorder movement uh, has good ideas, but it's also very, very uh, mixed with sort of kind of agents and just nonsense and sort of uh, old type of light, light workers, which sort of are already dinosaurs, that sort of thing. So I... Uh, Take whatever good is there, but don't take them too seriously. They, I think, they are Max's things. They are a little awkward and outdated, that sort of thing. So um, take them as inspiration. It's more like poetry than than practical uh, thing. It doesn't seem to Max a very very much like up to date, uh, but um, he doesn't follow them. He sort of used to follow them, and and some of the, the those channelers are actually yeah, some of those channelers are true channelers, but the vibe is not is not something that that is resonating with Max, and actually is not too resonating with me. It's a mixed bag. Some of that is good, but some of that is pure. Again, it, it's it's a perspective, but from certain perspective, it's poor nonsense. All right. But some of it is good. Yeah. Thank you. What's your? I apologize. Opinion? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. I was just uh, wondering, what's your opinion on the uh, channeler Sheldon Nidal on paoweb.com? He's a representative for the Galactic Federation of Light. And uh, yeah, period. yeah. Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, no information comes through me, but whatever is in Max is, I would say, agree that whatever he said before uh, relates to Nidal as well. It's a mixed bag. Uh, the, the, the channelings come through for real, but, but don't take it as uh, literal, not literal. It's more like well-intentioned channelers, but channelings, but not literally to be taken. At least from this perspective. In some other perspective, they might be taken literally. But in a world where I am, where Max is, where you are, I would not say it is literally to be taken seriously. It's it's inspirational, though, and some of the information there relates, but to that perspective, but not 
everything, not everything to be taken literally. How about that? Seems when you start talking about realities, you can't take anything literally. Yeah, but yes, but ah, but some can be more literally taken than other. I'm sorry for poor formula, but that's how it is. Like <clears throat> the price of gas can be taken literally. It's what's relevant, right? Yeah. Would it be easier for you to like speak your language through Max? Nah, not really. I can make some noises, but not more. Yeah, let's discuss something with you. Yeah, you, I'm sorry. It's uh, as usual. Uh, let's talk about something like We understand. This. Yeah, I'm authorized, and what easily flows is like helping you with, you with your challenges, giving a perspective, and some sort of enlightened view, help your ascension and your emotions and stuff and promote the idea of friendship and embracing the reptilian DNA hybridization and uh, invasion. I'm joking. Just how they say. Um, whatever. Us coming and being like bonding with you in any possible way. That's what is often happening. What I see here is is your communication through Max with us is actually mechanically happening on a higher level so that for all of us to be in this chat room, all of our higher minds have to be together in a dance. Is that true? Do you feel that? In a way, in a way, um, I'm sort of more like down to earth, down to stuff, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. higher things are involved, of course, no question. But, you know, also lower things are <clears throat> here as well. Like, Max's voice is sort of running out. And a cough drop helped, but only partially. And it's a pleasure to be here. I like to be talking to you. That's fun. I, I really enjoy it. I just want to discuss things where I can really contribute, not just say I cannot... Not, I hate to say I cannot pass this information through. I hate it. Yeah. Oh, we know. Yeah. Uh, Casey would like to ask a question. Yes, please say your name. I don't want to open my eyes and read on the screen because uh, Max will get excited and I will get pushed out. <coughs> I can't hear anything. There was a female voice. Casey, Casey you're muted. There you go. Okay, am I off mute now? Hello. Hello. Um, I had a question. I was, wondering, I was wondering how we can go about expressing our reptilian DNA in 3D. How can we go about embracing more of that energy in us? Nice question. Wonderful. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Give me some uh, What's the problem? Just embrace it. Okay, that's true. That's a good one. Um, I was thinking anything associated with uh, making you feel empowered. I feel that very much. Um, my reptilian um, in those moments. Yeah, you're breaking breaking up, but I understand, yes. Action is important. Action. Not only absorb and not only reflect, not only experience emotionally, but really doing something, achieving, striving to you know, to win and to um, race to higher level in hierarchy and be successful in all possible ways. Yeah, don't hurt yourself, you know, because in these times it's nice to be nice. So be, dance your dance in a pure fashion. Yeah, that's also very reptilian. It has to be done properly. Be perfectionist, be proper, be pure. How about that? 
and keep your sense of humor. To be pure, you have to keep your sense of humor. That allows you to accumulate the energies which don't play well with other energies. So if some energies don't play well, just laugh at it and they sort of kind of accept that they don't play well. Just accepting that they don't play well allows you to play with them much better. So reptilian, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like being a dinosaur and crocodile and alligator and all of that wonderful uh, uh, squiggly biting um, hungry predators, right? And also the, some of reptilians are, how do you call them? Grass-eating, how do you call them? Max forgot the word. Herbivore? Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing, yeah. Vegetable of war. And, uh, yeah, but, you know, that's the idea. You you have reptilians, right? Get a little unknown to yourself and enjoy their company. So watch them, how they live. It's not exactly us, but there is some idea which comes with that. Does it help? I can speak more about it. Just give me some reflection. Um, no, I think that that was that was great. I definitely feel that strongly that um, it's it's more about your effort and what you put out um, rather than anything. Um, yes. How about East and West um, duality? West has tons of reptilian culture. Actually, East has tons of reptilian culture as well, but somewhat different. So it's it all comes comes to the same thing: tough love, soft love, that sort of thing. <laughs> How can you bring light in this reptilian fashion into the reality? It's just accommodating everything. It actually helps you to be successful. Uh, a, a successful light worker is like, how do you call it in English? I don't know the word. The impossible thing, there is a word for that. It's like saying um, salty chocolate. How do you say that is a word for that? Impossible thing. I will Google it later. Um, <laughs> so... Um, a reptilian light worker is something interesting. Uh, you have to create it, basically. But that's, I would say, it's a shaman thingy. Shaman, tough shaman, but well, well connected to the ground and well connected to the skies, well connected to the life and everything. Fantastic. Thank you. I actually feel very connected to the shaman culture, so I'll look into that. Don't overdo it. Uh, do whatever is healthy. I wish you success. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you success as well. Uh, give me a name. Max wants to hear the name. I'm fine with the vibe, with the vibe, but give me give Max a name. My name. What's your name? Oh, my name's Casey. Casey. Like Edgar Casey? <laughs> yes, kind of like that. <laughs> wow. Pronounce the same spell different. Is it a coincidence? Is it? I don't believe in coincidence, so no. Right. <laughs> Interesting. Sleeping prophet. Casey. Hmm. There was a bit of or reptilian vibe in him as well, a bit. Yeah, we have healers too, and prophets. <laughs> I felt I feel very much connected to the healer aspect. So, oh. snake energy, reptilian energy. Yeah, health is reptilian thing. Human health. Sports, Do you have snake um, energy? Yeah, we, you know, look at your evolution. It's uh, snakes and us, we have much in common. Really? How so? I not. Just a second.
Sarah wrote. <laughs> yes, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have three minutes to wrap up. Okay. So how does Snake and Reptilian, uh, I guess, relate? I'm sorry, as usual, information doesn't come through. I can't pick Max's feelings. He mm -hmm. doesn't know much of the difference. One has legs, another doesn't. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in We're Russia, it is the same thing. We're going to have to talk soon. <laughs> Full and completely. Say again. I said we're gonna have to have a discussion, you and I, Shim. A complete ah. discussion. Ah. Uh, did they cross any lines? Cross what lines? No. Anything? Did you? Don't you agree in any point? Well, at some say, sort of point, uh, but. Uh, Yes. But I'm talking about in the uh, the third dimension above type level. Explain, please. How do they relate in history and culture? And do they grow in separate DNA patterns? Are they totally separate? Are they congruent? Uh, Google it. Google it and you will find... Uh, snakes are our, um, how do you say, siblings close, like, you know, like um, you and monkeys. No, not a good analogy. Like <laughs> cats and dogs, like cows and sheep, that sort of thing. Close, like uh, uh, cockroaches and uh, whatever other insects are there. You know, it's uh, branches of the same... Uh, Close branches on the evolutionary tree. How about that? Okay. Yeah, snakes have different uh, language and culture, but we are close. We have similar vibes. Our, you know, the differences are not as essential. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for that. Can you All right, let's do blessings. Who wants to bless anything? Will you do a blessing? Yeah, in your language? No, language doesn't come through. I can just do some noise like, <laughs> but it's, you know, that's all. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, give me something. Like, anybody is into blessings, and I will do something. And then... In another language, for me, I do Naga blessings. Oh, thank you. Would you like one? Yes, of course, sure. Okay. I'm sorry, is it, you do you want to continue or is it everything? It's, it's done. Thank, Thank you, me. because I wasn't sure. All right, uh, I will do, uh, again, it's Max, sort of, I will use Max's images to create something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The sun is rising, uh, the insects are waking up. Uh, the sand is warming up. Ah, it's a nice morning. The universe is ours. 
The gods are kind to us. Our children are happy. The eggs are ready to... What's it word? I don't know. Break open. Our life is good. The war is over. The enemy became ours. His lands are ours. His people became us. We swallowed them and became one. We don't like to kill, we just like to explore and expand. We want to go to next level together. Your gods, our gods, our friends, they are one. We like you as our food, as our friends, as our gods, as ourselves. It's all one. If someone wins over us, <laughs> we will become them. As we become them, they become us. This way we both win. Amen. Wow. Amen. Yep. <laughs> what Very a perspective. Nice. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Hey, Max. <laughs> Excellent job, brother. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to have to replay that blessing. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. You feel me? <laughs> Here's right, two. I, uh, I, I enjoyed your, your company and enjoyed... Uh, channeling uh, this uh, until recently I I didn't uh, feel like much vibe with reptilians I didn't uh, how do you call them <clears throat> I'm still speaking his voice yeah <laughs> can, can I it's already Max is here I only speak his voice okay yeah um, yeah yes I will speak in Russian okay um, значит, uh, I, I liked, I, I didn't like, but I sort of kind of made an effort and um, and I uh, I kind of tried to understand them and by some reason they choose to come through and uh, whatever. If they help me to become a channeler, I would accept that. I um, I think I'm influencing them to become, uh, when, when I channel, to speak a little more um, in the topics which are dear to me, like God and um, intellectual things, but... But their essence still comes through. So mm -hmm. thanks everybody. It was fun. I uh, enjoyed the um, the crowd, and I'm happy that I have more than uh, one listener. That really makes me sort of accomplished, feel accomplished. Thank you, Max. It was a pleasure to see you channel. All right. Uh, goodbye. Much uh, much of everything. Love butterflies. We love you. Have a good Peace. night. Thank you. After party.